big old flame there with a smoky tip. Probably my favorite larger hand carved crystal, what would you call it, sculpture? Looks like they missed the spot right there. Aren't these stunning? The Brazilian gemstone birds. Carnelian beak. This one has a partial tiger's eye beak, perhaps onyx. Well, the beak is onyx. I don't know what you call that of the bird, the nostrils. King Daddy Eagle right there. Making sure you check yourself before you wreck yourself. This one just wants to go home. <laughs> Gemstone flowers. Tiger's eye, this is clear quartz. I have no idea what this material is here. Beautiful carnelian beak. Almost looks like tortoiseshell. But tortoiseshell no longer flies. Beautiful little labyrinth bird. Parrot. Almost looks like lanite. Yanite? Yano. Like quesadilla, quesadilla. Yanite. I don't know. All carved in Brazil. Style art stonecraft. Some nice big old obelisks. The Sodalite Eagle. It's a little bit later in the show. So a lot of these have already been sold. You know, this sign is not here for no reason. <laughs> Somebody was flipping the birds upside down and they shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> Beautiful rose quartz parrot. Cheek looks like iolite or perhaps appetite. Brazilian rubelite, which I believe is a term inside of marble. Amazonite quartz onyx parrot there. Love the Brazilian emerald bases. Big old rods on Daddy Eagle back there. Looks like he's got a tiger's eye. Fantastic. Got some nice stuff in the gym. Is this uh, emerald right here? No, that's uh, serpentine. Oh, fantastic. Look what? Do you have iguanas in Brazil? Oh yes, we do. Have you ever eaten one before? Huh? Have you ever eaten one before? Yes, iguana? Yes. Is it good? It's like chicken. Do you eat the tails when you eat the iguana? Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to taste some. I ate more time in my life. I don't think I eat again. <laughs> I'd rather just have chicken. Yeah. It's easier that way. <laughs> Look at the hummingbirds. Absolutely stunning. Of some gypsum rose, perhaps selenite rose. Those pigeons or doves? What's the difference between a dove and a pigeon? Pigeon is like a rodent, and a dove is like a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> 
What do you call a group of parrots? Is it a flock of parrots? Can't separate them. You gotta take the whole family. Look at the crane. I grew up in Florida and a lot of folks I've spoken to have eaten crane before. Oh my god. <laughs> the white owl is especially fantastic in my opinion. Its tail looks like it's got some labradorite and some lemon serpentine tail feathers. Pandemonium, company, or flock? Pandemonium of parrots is way cooler. <laughs> it should be a choir of parrots, <laughs> honestly, but we'll roll with pandemonium. A pandemonium of parrots. Queen Eagle here, protecting her crystal eggs. Very clever. It's eyeing me. It's like, do not get too close to my eggs or I will eat you, human. Some beautiful blue quartz. I don't believe that's um, sodalite. Almost looks like it. I believe there's a word that begins with a D for the blue quartz. Is it calcite parrot? Check out those tail feathers. On amethyst bases, that is a heat treated amethyst there. Still beautiful. So many birds. Looking a little thin. I bet you these folks had a great year. Nice fluorite tail feathers on this bad girl. Are there ones with the mohawks, parakeets? Possibly. Cockatiel. There's a bird lover out there who's gonna watch this, he's gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> They're like, how dare you? Fantastic. Wait, you gotta get the owl. Oh, look at it. Little beauty. And wants to go home with us. <laughs> Ooh, good question. Parliament. A parliament of owls. Like the band. We've got to love the Brazilian emerald. These are actually carved into the emerald shape. Usually the real emerald is um, a barrel like this. But these are many pieces sculpted into the black mica, into the the black mica and emerald to make it look like the rods. Fantastic. What a base on that bad girl. So kind of these folks. Look at these. What are these? Toucans. Is it a toucan? Like the it's Fruit Loop, like a Fruit Loop, the Fruit Loop guy. Yeah, it's a toucan. Looks like a Jasper Tongue, Brazilian Serpentine Beak. I love to carve that stuff. Perhaps calcite or orange agate throat, I guess you'd call it. Red Jasper Breast. Onyx or Obsidian Feathers. This is King Toucan. He says, who are you calling a Fruit Loop human? All gemstone except for the beautifully casted feet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These things got character in their face. I like that. Look at them. You can't just buy one. 
You have to have two or all four of these bad girls. Tiger's eye beak looks like garnet eyes and obsidian or some kind of soapstone, maybe onyx fur. Look at the character in their faces. It is priceless. Alrighty. Some more obelisks. Last year they had some giant spheres with big obelisks here in the front. I imagine those sold. You gotta get the sphere, the whole combo. Somebody bought this bad girl. Mr. Sam, it looks like. Alright. Thank you so much to Style and Art Stonecraft for being here at the Pueblo Show. Lapis Alley, $100 a kilo. I've been coming to gem shows so long that I remember when Lapis was significantly more affordable. I remember when it was a lot easier to find the ultra dark blue, ultra marine color. Times have changed. A lot less of the material is probably still in Mother Earth. More and more people are taking it out. The rare stuff is becoming a lot more expensive and the more common stuff is becoming a little bit more expensive as every year goes along. Gotta love the denim, denim stuff. So Matatea Mateo. For your Kudendera goodness. Probably don't make tortillas with this, do you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm Mexican and I do not eat enough Mexican food. 60 cents a gram. It's probably... Hmm. Gotta be pushing 20 grams on that one. Look at these. Some Kunzite. It might be a little hard to tell if I don't color grade the video, but they're pink and yellow and green. There's some Morganite rough. About three or four years ago, walking around Kino in the dirt, we found a giant piece of Morganite. I tried to cut it and it melted, so it was probably nowhere close to this facet grade material. Just $3.50 a gram. You can get quite a bit of these little pieces probably for a reasonable price. Look at that. Crusty malachite, I love it. And hand carved base. I imagine these must be from China, at least the bases are. Looks like this one had a little boo boo right there. At the tip. So we'll probably get it at a great price. Love the points on that one. And that one, they're all great. Look at that. Oh, it's like some kind of fungus. It's just like eating. So some kunzite natural inside of the matrix rock. Some rough lapis from Afghanistan. Lots of lapis beads. Looks like this is $45 a strand. This one is what? $208 a strand? Perhaps that's the weight. No, looks like it's the price. I think it's the price for the whole thing, isn't it? For the Hank? Maybe. Different vendors, different price. I mean, different show. If they're paying $8,000 to be at this booth, they can't charge, or at least most of the time, can't afford to charge with the person paying $900 for the booth at a different show is. Then again, also, folks come from all around the world together and they split up. Some people take the lower quality stuff to the lower quality type of show. You come to the higher quality place to sell your higher quality material. All of this is really close to the ultramarine. Not quite there. These strands though, almost there. Very high quality. Probably a lot of work goes into processing these small beads. I imagine a lot of native folks probably use these types of beads for their regalia. 
So for a lapis queen, love those cuts. A little tough to see. You get the point. Some lapis donuts, $15 for the big ones, $10 for the small ones. I mean, for that price, you gotta get the big ones. I'm sure, since there's only a week left in the show, all of the big ones are probably sold. Some nice lapis rings. I wonder if this is silver. Jeez, look how high these will sit on your finger. That sits pretty high. For making a little lapis statement there. Statement ring. Very cool. Lapis squares. You can tile your floor with lapis. Lapis bowl there, perhaps ashtray or key holder. What would you what would you put in there? <laughs> Looks like these smaller lapis uh, obelisks are $650. I wonder how much the big one is. The gentleman seems a little busy, so we won't bother him. These look like Iranian turquoise. I would never, ever be able to get those on a string. These are so fine. The hole has got to be half millimeter or smaller. I would look like a strand of this, but I wouldn't be able to re-beat it onto a piece of metal or something. Some little Iranian turquoise UFOs. I believe this is Iranian or what's called Persian. I'm not exactly sure, but I would bet. Look at that. So close to the ultramarine color. So fine and so delicate. I would love to make a necklace out of a single strand. I don't think I look very good in jewelry. At least none that I've been making. $8 each. There's how many here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Let's call it 15 strands. I'm sure it'd give you the whole thing for 80. Awesome. Gotta love the Iranian turquoise and lapis blends. I used to sell strands of this material myself that I bought from a Turkish gentleman. And a lot of people would give me guff about the little white spots on here. It doesn't mean it's not turquoise. These are made by hand, and if a white piece of the material gets made into the bead, they're going to use it. The serpentine, oh this is glass, not serpentine, gives it a great aesthetic, I think. It makes it look very old. Those are definitely how light beads in between the lapis on this one. Modern takes on ancient beauties. Gotta love the aquamarine donuts for 10 bucks. Look at that donut. Two dollars a gram. They start starting to slash those prices. Only seven days left in the gem show. That's practically the end of the gem show. If you've been holding off to get down here, get down here soon. A lot of people say they like to wait till the end of the gem show, but trust me, the vendors have made their money. They are so sick and tired of people. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to go get out of here. There's some lapis too. Aquamarine squirrel. Did I ever tell you the story about Wancho and the squirrels? I think I have heard about Wancho and Squirrels. My friend Wancho got a 22 rifle for like his ninth birthday. Went out and shot like 10 squirrels. Brought them home on a stick all proud. And his dad's like, well, 
now we gotta eat them. <gasps> and so he helped them skin the squirrels and they had them for dinner when the rest of his family had a nice dinner inside the house. He never shot anything in vain again. <laughs> it was a great lesson from his father. I totally agree. If you're gonna go around shooting pigeons, you're having pigeon for dinner, boy. <laughs> Stunning aquamarine sculptures. I love the value they put on there by not polishing it up because it's some depth. The blue chalcedony looks so good. Almost looks like opalite is so great. Ten dollars for these beauties. Two fifty a gram for these cabs. That's better than you'll get from QVC. I'll tell you that. And the beautiful Argentinian Proto Pro Sixty cents a gram. Not bad. $15 each for the donuts. Very soft material. I love carving rhodochrosite. I have one very high quality piece left at my studio that I'm saving for myself. <laughs> it's not for sale. Here, Moroccan fossils and minerals. How do you say that name? Khalid. Khalid. Trilobites. Are these the same things as horseshoe crabs, you think? Is it a trilobite? I could be wrong. I don't know anything about anything. I'm just walking around <laughs> talking nonsense. <laughs> I would not eat a horseshoe crab. I think people do eat them. And don't they do something with the blood to, for like, to fix your eyes or something? Leave the poor horseshoe crabs alone. Look at the flowers. $600 for this bad girl. Worth every penny. Yeah. It's a little bit better than buying a $600 painting of a broken down car from Taos, New Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fossils you'll find, they'll take the fossil specimen, put it into some kind of artificial matrix, and then make it look like they're all hanging out together. I mean, how many of these are you think hanging out in the groups of four with this bad girl in the middle? Naturally. How many? How many times is that going to happen? 10%. Not very many. 10%? You tripping. You tripping. <laughs> Those are cool. Yeah, so these are definitely suspended in an artificial matrix. Something. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes just you can play. find fossils. I don't know if this is it. I'll just use it as an example that they cut, I definitely see cuts there, that they cut into it and paint the stone to make a fake fossil. Oh. Big ones, little ones, it's a big thing in the world. You gotta ask, has my fossil been worked? Does that look like somebody scratched a star in there or what? It does to me. Maybe they're scratching it to like make the starfish pop. Maybe there was no starfish at all. Maybe. <laughs> Either way, they're awesome. This one's got little suckers on it. I wish I had little suckers on my arms. Instead, I'm just a sucker in general. definitely pecked to give it some value. Does it mean it's not natural? Were these guys hanging out together in the ancient sea floor? Maybe. Maybe not. I love what they do with the Orthoceras and the goodies and their matrix. Sculpt them into their own thing and then they have the little goodies inside. Orthoceras is the little long little noodle shellfish thing. This guy, I believe, I could be wrong. It smells good over here. It smells like burning wood. I like it. These are definitely Orthoceras, if I'm not mistaken. $20? Not bad. $20. What? What? I couldn't make the stand to hold that for $20. That's <laughs> such a good deal. Huh? This 
this one looks like it's $25. Very hard working folks in Morocco. $50 for the Big Daddy. That is such a good deal. You go to any gem show, you're going to see a million people selling these though. So it's perhaps that's just the asking price, the going price, you know. Leave you some room for money. These are only 10 You can't buy lunch at Chipotle in Tucson for $10. <laughs> Why? Because you gotta get that, you gotta get that Coca-Cola. These are definitely suspended in an artificial stone. Yeah. Are these priced? No, they are not priced. Oh, yes, they are. Mosasaur teeth, ten dollars. Are the teeth real? Are they castings? They look like real teeth to me. <laughs> Definitely put inside of a matrix. Right. Mosasaur. I don't want to get on the other end of a mosasaur. Do you think mosasaurs are those sharp teeth dolphin things? No, no, they're big. <laughs> nice teeth. I once had a friend when I uh, was growing up. Also, again, this one even has like the the oh, casting the, the casting plaster. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do not touch. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I ain't gonna touch. Don't be touching on the bones. Is it bone? Or is it a cast? Did you put those teeth in the plaster to make it look like a thing? Or is it real? Looks like a crocodile. So you got the curly guys. Look at that dude. He's filming with his pup. Filming some lady. Checking out the last two fossils. I usually jump in front of cameras and pitch the subscribe to Lapidary D for Lapidary Tips, Tricks, Giveaways, Artists, Interviews, Field Tricks, Vlogs, and much, much more. But they look like the kind of people that are just going to edit my crazy hump out. <laughs> I mean, I would. <laughs> Not really. I leave, I leave the madness. Look at this. I don't see a price. Pretty cool. Let's check out these specimens. A little too bright of light. Oh, look at that. It's a popolite? Yes, it is. Oh, nice. Were you at the Denver show? Yeah, we were. Oh, yeah, I said hi. You were in like the parking garage area, right? Kind of near the bathrooms, maybe? Yeah, yeah, where the bathrooms were up a stair, a set of stairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the way to the food trucks. Yeah. Yeah. That's Himalayan. We have a cool phantom too as well. We also have a double phantom. Where's that at? Like if we get to the light. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Oh, sure do. Yeah. Big medicine. It's definitely a treasure of a piece. Thank you so much for sharing. Of course. When are you going to go to the Apophilite Caves? When? Where are yeah. those? In India. Oh gosh, I would love to go. I personally dig. Heck like, yeah. I like to have fun digging and stuff, but the, the guy that Do you like Indian food? Oh, uh, yeah, we've been eating Indian uh, food every day. Have you gone to the one all the way in the corner? Oh, uh, so like, Mr. Singh, he wears the turban? Mr. Singh? Yeah, Mr. Singh. Yeah. He was so nice, he brought me in the back. 
He was flipping non and stuff on camera. He had a sweetheart. Yeah, he's so nice. So yeah, he, we eat there every single day. <laughs> I don't think I've eaten this much Indian food even in a month. <laughs> right. Uh, but it's really good. Yeah. And he even makes uh, my boss like a special roti with special flour and stuff. Yeah, he's so nice. What a blessing. Yeah. And it's, it's Indian approved because my box is Indian, so I know it's good. I told my mom, I said, you're going to be jealous because now I know how to order Indian food better than you do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Look at that bag, girl, right now. Ooh, all the little noodles up there. The little mushrooms. I'm just gonna eat it. Ninety dollars a flat. Not bad for some hematoid. Fantastic. Just too many fantastic stones to spend time and film. Right crust on that bad girl. It almost looks like fossilized or agatized coral that's bad to the bone. 